Hi, welcome to the Sky Studio tutorial series. Sky Studio brings extensive customization without sacrificing performance, so you can build beautiful and engaging content. Today we're going to talk about how to set up a sky system in a demo scene. Before we get started, let's make sure we're all looking at the same scene. Inside of Funly Sky Studio, you'll notice there's a folder called Tutorials, and then there's Basic Starter and a scene called Basic Starter. I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate that scene so I don't modify the original and just open up Basic Starter 1. So now that we're all looking at the same scene, let's go ahead and install a sky system into the scene. Go to Window, Sky Studio, Set Up Sky. Setting up Setting up a Sky System in Sky Studio is really easy. We ship with a bunch of uh, presets that you can pick from, and these will basically be a jumping off point to your own custom configurations. So you'd pick one that's close in the same direction that you want to ultimately take your Sky System. Uh, to get started, let's first just pick a really simple one. I'm going to pick just a basic blue sky with some light clouds. You select the preset, click Create Sky System, and you'll notice it's immediately loaded into your scene and you have dynamic clouds, there's a sun up overhead. And then now let's, I'm gonna go ahead and just close the setup window so we can get a little room here. And then now I'm just gonna show you around what Sky Studio just did. So in your scene, you'll notice you now have a Sky System controller. This is what manages the Sky System in your scene. It is the top level controller. If you want to do any script integrations with Sky Studio, you do that by registering them on the time of day controller. You can change the sky profile at runtime, and these are your different types of skies, um, by just assigning into this property, the profile. And you can adjust the time of day um, right here. We'll show you that next in another scene I'm about to show you. To make any, any changes to the sky, that's all managed by what we call the sky profile. So I'm going to go ahead and double click the sky profile. You'll notice it's also just a file that's in your scene that we created for you called sky profile. And this is the main configuration point for all of Sky Studio. You'll notice that we have uh, some different sections here. I'll quickly talk about them. We have the feature section, and this is how you enable all of the various features in Sky Studio. When you enable one of these checkboxes, you'll notice you'll get a corresponding section underneath. So for example, we enabled the sun. So now we have a sun configuration area. Likewise, we have enabled the clouds and we have a cloud configuration section. The sky section is always here because it hosts some common properties that, that are needed by Sky Studio just to even do the basic gradients and backgrounds. So you can go in here, you can immediately start doing things like adjusting you know, the sky, the colors, things like that. Um, so I can do a darker scene here. We could go in here and we could quickly start adding in stars and things. One quick note is that you wanna make sure that if you're not using, if you're trying to be very performance conscious, uh, the more features you enable, there is a higher performance cost incurred on that. Sky Studio is extremely performant, and there's been a lot of work to make sure even most of these features all work even on mobile class hardware. However, with that said, performance is always a constraint when building games. So try to reduce, as, use as few of these as possible. Uh, in particular, the star layers um, can, be can be a little bit expensive. So I'd recommend on mobile using no more than maybe one or two. Next, I'm gonna show you a little bit more of a, a complicated sky system that also comes from a pre preset. Go to Window, Sky Studio, Setup Sky, and if you pick a new preset, it'll just replace the one that's currently in the scene. So let's go ahead and pick a more complete one that's using the sky timeline features. So let's go pick the full day, sunrise to sunset. I'll then click Create Sky System. So you'll notice now we have a new, this looks like a sunrise scene here, um, we have some animated clouds, the clouds are tinted different colors, uh, the light is managed and, and there's shadows in the scene. And I'm going to go ahead and close this. And you might notice here that a lot of the properties inside of here that we were just adjusting like the colors say managed on timeline. And that is, the sky timeline is a feature that's completely unique to Sky Studio and it lets you build um, completely custom day-night cycles. So I'm going to quickly show you how to get uh, to the sky timeline, just go to Window, Sky Studio, and open up the sky timeline. You'll notice you get, I have it docked here, but you'll get a, a window will pop up. And this, and I like to dock it typically next to the game window so that I can see what I'm doing in the scene view. 
but you'll notice you get this highly detailed uh, sky timeline. And then this is the sky's upper color, middle color, lower. This is the gradient in the sky. And as you click and drag, you can actually scrub through time here. And all of these animations uh, and color transitions and the stars coming in and out, these are all controlled on this timeline. Um, so I think, so that's it. I just wanted to give you guys enough information so you can understand where all the main windows are. Now you know about sky profiles, the main point of configuration, and you know that the sky timeline is a thing that exists. In future videos, we're going to go through every single one of these sections, the sun, the moon, clouds, fog, stars, rain, and lightning. And I'm going to teach you exactly how to use, uh, you know, those features and how to configure it for your scene. Uh, and then at the end, we're going to talk about the sky timeline. I'm going to go ahead and build a, a complete animated sky. Um, and I look forward to teaching you guys more about Sky Studio. Thanks for trying it, and I'll see you in a future video.